This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the Premier Trade Forex Report with Scott Norse. Good afternoon, traders. I'm Scott Norse here with your Forex Report. Today is Thursday, April 3rd, 2008. While it was difficult to understand exactly why traders ran the dollar up overnight, the, re the reversal in today's U.S. session is much easier to comprehend. Weekly jobless figures at 8.30 this morning put a cap on the overnight rally in the greenback when it was reported at 407,000. This was the highest reading since 2005 and is not the type of news traders will brush off just 24 hours before the government's employment report is released. After snapping lower initially, it appeared as though the buck may try to recover. However, as we approach the 10 o'clock release of non-manufacturing ISM and the second day of Bernanke's testimony, traders thought better of being long dollar. The selling pressure intensified and many currencies recouped almost every pip lost in early European trading. The euro dollar recovery may have been the most dramatic and most surprising. After breaking yesterday's low early this morning, the technical picture looked very bearish for the near term. Now as we wind down the U.S. session, that picture has all but disappeared on the daily chart. Pairs such as pound, dollars, pound dollar and Aussie dollar not only erased overnight losses, but will end the day comfortably in positive territory. Overall, most pairs are having a tough time keeping a solid direction for any length of time. This is attributable to the great amount of uncertainty about the U.S. and global economies. This should translate into a mix of dollar strength and weakness in the days and weeks ahead. Of course, if the data in the U.S. gets too much worse, the buck may not be able to hold on. We find it highly unlikely that traders will be so naive as to run the dollar up again tonight ahead of what should be an ugly employment report tomorrow morning. Economists are expecting a net loss of 50,000 jobs with an unemployment rate of 5%. Tight ranges might be expected ahead of the news, but certainly not afterwards. Till tomorrow, have a wonderful night trading. Take care.